Chad King, virtual noob. Welcome to today's session. Uh, you know, it's really more about a me trying to troubleshoot an issue with being with Workstation. Uh, some of you guys know I started off on Workstation 7 on this kind of lab blog series, and I wanted to cover this kind of odd issue. Um, I'm sitting here clicking my desk up, and you can see uh, it looks like it's kind of hung. And this is really interesting because, you know, I, I have the latest version of a uh, VMware Workstation, and you know, people say, you know, don't upgrade unless it's broke. But I want all these new features, so it would make sense to. Obviously, my OS, memory, stuff like that, you know, um, really interesting issue. And so I went on Google, and I was like, you know, why is this issue only happening with certain OSs, like my XP VMs? They all have this issue. Um, my Windows 7 VMs run fine, and so it. It just tells me that it has to be some sort of pass through or driver or something like that with this new version of VMware Workstation. Workstation 7, I had zero issues. I had no problems. In fact, I have to use uh, VMs because uh, of all the VPNs and things I need access to. So, really, literally, because of this issue, I spent um, a good part of my work day trying to get it up and running. Well, so long story short, you know, you go to the Google interwebs. I was on some random forum, okay, not even in the VMware community, um, and they were talking about how they had this issue on Ubuntu, and they were like, well, you know, I we, we, we disconnected our CD DVDs, and that seemed to work, so of course I come in here, and I'm just like, okay, I'm going to disconnect my CD DVD. That's what I just did. I just right-clicked it down there, and I'm like, okay, looks like it's working, okay, for now. Oh, wait, it decided not to work. Um... And so I was just kind of like, well, let's just go through this systematically. So I was like, you know, let's connect it back. And let's see what happens. See if anything. And by the way, um, I've had a, I've changed the hardware version from 7.1 to 8. And I just wanted to iterate this. I have completely uninstalled, uh, removed VMware tools, and I have completely installed it, both from scratch and both by just doing the upgrade path. Um, as you saw, I have plenty of CPU. I have plenty of RAM. I'm only running two VMs. And you know, when I first did it, I had two cores allocated to my to my XP VM, and I thought, well, maybe there's some sort of CPU thing going on. And so I went ahead and just used one, stepped it back down to that single uh, virtual CPU, and it was still happening. And so I was really confused. But so I was like, well, man, I, I don't get it. So I, I went down to the floppy, and it seemed to work fine after I disconnected the floppy drive. So it could be your CD DVD. Um, but I would just challenge you to just really um, figure out what it is and you know it's not that big of a deal if it's floppy because if it is in fact that and, it, and you can see here it's actually it looks like it's it's not hanging anymore so it was really kind of a relief you know um, <laughs> it was really cool it was like wow that's pretty cool um, figured that out it really seems like that was really the issue so okay not a big deal right we just want to go in here into our settings and we just want to click uh, the uh, floppy right here and we'll just say connect the power on we'll just uncheck it so from now on when it boots um, we don't have to worry about that and in fact you can even remove it of course I gotta wait till it's off but you know turn it off and remove it and see if the issue continues to happen I don't know any reason why a floppy would be a part of it and there could be something that maybe is with the floppy that I may not know so um, it could be that it's an IDE or something I, I don't know I don't even have a floppy installed on my system that's what's really funny is that it installs it by default and I don't even need it uh, anyway so I just wanted to cover that share that with the community if you're having issues with your uh, XP VM hanging um, that's an ish quick issue to fix it so um, and if that doesn't do it, then, uh, you know, hopefully you can open an SR or something with VMware and figure it out. As of, for me right now, I was able to get to the root um, that it is the floppy. I don't know why it's the floppy, uh, but maybe we'll, we'll get a patch or something where it'll address that problem or something like that. Anyways, thank you for joining and uh, have a wonderful weekend.